In this video, I show you how to fix USB webcams in Linux. Up next. Okay, to start out here, we need to actually open up Terminal. And we're going to be installing a new utility to manage our factory settings in our camera. This is actually called v4l-utils and obviously if you're using Ubuntu you'll be using uh, aptitude instead of yum or dnf. Also would work on Fedora here but I went ahead and just did yum. And as you see I've actually already installed this and now what this does is it gives us utility to actually view all the settings we can set on our actual USB webcam and then also change them. Now at the very end here I'm showing you a script to kind of do this automatically. That way when you boot up you can just set your script to run from a cron job or just as a startup application. Uh, however you want to set it up you can do that easily. Okay to start off here we need to check and see what our USB devices are. So we're going to do a list devices command. So we'll open up terminal and type v4l2-ctl-list-devices. And you'll see here I have some Rift sensors hooked up and then also the USB Logitech C920 webcam. And if you note, it says video six and video seven. We actually just need video six. So now we need to see what the actual factory settings are for this camera. And we can do that by just doing dash D forward slash dev forward slash video six, just like it's listed above, and then dash dash list controls. Okay, the two options we need to focus on here is focus dash auto or focus underscore auto, and then also exposure underscore auto. These are defaulted to three for exposure and one for autofocus. What the camera doesn't know by default, or at least in Linux, the, the actual behavior it follows is it is very, very laggy almost on any setting in like OBS or even simple screen recorder. You'll see a good lag between when you speak and when it is actually recorded onto file. So we need to change these actual commands. And I went ahead and made a script to do this because it will only retain these settings one time. It won't retain them through re sequential reboots. So I created a .sh uh, bash script to do this. And I'm gonna go ahead and pull that up for you guys so you can kind of see the syntax of that. So you'll see, much like it was on the list command, you'll see the dash D and then listing out wherever the device is on your system. Mine's video six. Yours will probably be a different one since I have so many uh, USB devices that track and do video. And then there's the dash dash set dash control and focus and exposure auto. I went ahead and changed the fo focus auto to off so it will never auto focus on my USB cam. And then also exposure auto, I went ahead and downgraded that from a three to a one. And these are pretty optimal settings. I kind of tinkered around with it for a couple hours and I found these two commands really controlled most of what I saw and the actual result from changing the settings. So let's go ahead and exit out of this script here. And we'll go ahead and run it. And to just see if that took, we need to go ahead and run that list controls again. And you'll see now that our value has changed on our autofocus from a one to a zero and exposure auto has changed from a three to a one. And you'll always see that on the far right here where it says value. Couple other things I've tried. I've kind of gone through and toyed with all these. Uh, most of it I say don't leave alone, expect, except, except for those two. But also you can kind of mess with brightness, contrast, and saturation. These things can uh, really influence as far as the actual overall quality of the picture. And it might be worth actually tinkering with that a little bit. Also, another one to note is sharpness. So between those about six or seven settings, you really should find everything you want to modify your default USB camera. Thanks for watching my video. If you have any feedback or comments, please let me know below. And if you'd like to see more tech videos, hit the subscribe button and check me out on my website, chrystitus.com.